Today we're gonna microchip our eight week old puppy. Um, there's only one in the litter, so we only have to do this once. Um, we have two different types of microchips that we can use. We have the regular indigo microchip. It's for a larger breed, it's extremely thick coated dogs. Um, but we use the indie microchip, the, the mini microchip <laughs> for the chihuahuas, um, for all of them, long coat, smooth coat, it doesn't matter. Um, it has a smaller antenna on it, so you don't want to use these on the, on the larger breeds. Um, this is the, the, the chip itself is in the needle. This is how we get it in the puppy. It comes in the, the package. We have the prepaid one, so we get all these. It comes in the package, sealed, it's sterile, um, and then you have your microchip number that matches the microchip that is in there. We have the pamphlet that comes with this. This allows the owner to register the chip once they get the puppy home. And in just one, we have the reader and we use this while we're microchipping to make sure that the chip that is in the needle, that comes out the, the microchip number, actually matches the numbers that are on the UPC code. I don't even <laughs> the codes. We have to make sure the numbers match on all of them anyway. So, and they do. So that's where we start. And we'll keep this here because we're gonna use this again. Okay, and we have the alcohol swabs. Clean puppy before we inject. We have our little injection device with the microchip inside and I'm gonna get baby. This is little Lumi. He is eight weeks old and he's going to smooth, smooth, smooth coat baby. He's gonna get microchip today. You always microchip right between the shoulder blades. And sometimes they do migrate, so that's something you gotta watch for if you, you get a microchip too soon. Um, we'll take the alcohol swab. <laughs> well, you can't and we've washed our hands beforehand to make sure we're all everybody's clean. So get the hair out of the way, and we're, we feel where the shoulder blades are, the actual shoulder blades. And you wanna get right down to the skin in this whole little area to make sure you're not introducing any kind of ickies into this body while you inject. Okay, and these are sterilized. Like I said, they they come sterilized in the package. So we have- Do you mind explaining what that means to anybody that doesn't understand it? Um, the, the package is sealed. It's sterilized and sealed so that no outside germs can get inside of it. Um, and your needle is inside. This is sterile, so you don't want to touch this needle to anything once you take the cap off. And it's very, it's not a good idea to recap it like I just did. But I'm going to do that so I can hold on to him for a second. Okay, so we've cleaned his little, his little spot. And he might not like this at all. This is going to be really uncomfortable for him. The needle is very small. It's the smallest needle that they have right now for injecting microchips. So once you have the baby, you want to tent the skin. So make sure you just have skin. There's no muscle, there's no bone, there's no, nothing underneath. Right in front of where we just cleaned with the alcohol swab. You can kind of see where I did that. He's not liking this at all. I'm not hurting him. He's just telling me that he doesn't want me to do this. He gets this. very uncomfortable whenever so, being touched in new ways. They don't so. like this so much. So, But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the needle where the sharp part is facing towards the puppy. This is gonna make an easier injection for him. It's gonna like, not hurt as much. We're gonna get right in our tent area right where we and he's not gonna like it and it's okay we just keep pushing and once we have the needle in that's what we do Careful, Lumi. now he didn't like that there at all go. and that's okay it's they okay. usually don't make this much of a fuss but they can so you want to make sure you have a good hold on them like we did we're gonna put this needle out of the way so it's like get getting a regular boobers. shot whenever you're it's, a baby it's a big needle it's uncomfortable they don't like it okay and they especially don't like it when they're little, oh, poor baby. little fussy babies like he is. So okay. they will be sore for a little bit. Yeah, after, you want to make sure. Of course, you, you like don't, anybody is after a needle. Yeah, you don't want to mess with their little backs after they do it. You know, for a day they might be uncomfortable. The betrayal. After we have this done, we're going to read the microchip again to make sure that it is, in fact, in his skin and not stuck in the needle. So it is in him. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure.
He's still got another week or so before he goes home, maybe even a little bit longer. But we will definitely check this microchip one more time before he goes home to make sure it hasn't come out because that can happen. Okay, so when you get your baby home, you take him to the vet the first time you get him checked. In the first few days, usually the, the breeder's gonna ask you to take him to your own vet when you first get him home. Have them microchip him, have them scan him and make sure that the microchip is actually in the puppy and also for identification purposes. So what we do after we microchipped him and he's settled down again, he's a good boy. We're gonna give him a little treat so he doesn't, he doesn't remember that we just made him gab a boo boo, okay? All right, so he can go and play or be mad if he wants to. And what we're gonna do now, since we put this microchip in him, we've already filled out the form with his his identification, basically who he's out of. Um, nice one, well, my little color, girl. His color, his sex, and all that stuff is gonna, gonna identify him. And we'll put his AKC number in there also when I get that. Um, and I'm gonna place his microchip number on this. We'll also place, We'll keep these with this, with all his paperwork, and I'm gonna put this on his AKC registration papers, and then also give his new owner, I'll keep them for my own records, and then I'll, I'll give that to his new owner when he gets them, so that he can give them to his vet, and use them as he needs to for identification for his baby. And that microchip will stay with him for his whole life, and if ever he's lost, he can be found. It's gonna come back to me first, as this breeder had these all registered to myself, but it's also, they're able to register in their, the new owner's name. So if they can't get a hold of the new owner, they will absolutely get a hold of me and I'll be able to pick up my babies from anywhere. So for their life, I will always know where they're at. And that's it, that's a microchip. And we'll throw this away, this is all no good. Um, another successful microchipping. <laughs> that's it. Have a good day.